Hello guys, welcome to Coding Byte. When people think of gaming, Linux isn't exactly the first operating system that comes to mind. That's fair because Linux isn't treated as a first class citizen when it comes to gaming. But gaming on Linux has come a long way in the last half a decade. While it was always possible to game on Linux, the titles that worked flawlessly on the platform were few. Some of you may think why we choose Linux for gaming. So Linux distro are smooth, slick, and intuitive interfaces with a lot going for them. For starters, they're free. They don't track you and advertise to you the way Windows, Chrome OS, and Mac OS do. Best of all, they're lightweight and easy to use. Older computers can suddenly feel like new again. So the next question will be, which Linux distro are best for gaming? If you like this type of content, leave a like, subscribe, or turn notifications on so that you don't miss an upload. Anyway, let's get started. This is my personal favorite. Pop OS by System76 is based on Ubuntu, and you get Cosmic as the desktop environment which is based on GNOME. The distro has all the necessary plumbing to give its users to mold it as per their requirements. For gamers that includes getting hybrid graphics to work on Linux and giving you the option to launch games on the GPU in the context menu. While the distro doesn't ship with any gaming platforms, you can easily pull the likes of Steam, Lutris, and GameHub from its app store without much effort. Furthermore, the distro is available in a couple of flavors, a standard image and one that comes with the proprietary NVIDIA driver pre-installed. In a nutshell, Pop OS is easy to use, perfectly suitable for beginners, and compatible with the latest hardware. Feel free to try out the latest LTS version of Pop OS. Smell that? Oh, Jesus. There. Come on, let's go. Let me hold up. How many miles house you got left back here? Let's hit it on the way back. Leave it. Yeah. Leave it my ass. Son of a bitch. You're hoping someone's home. Garuda Linux is an Arch-based distribution that makes Linux installation and setup easy while maintaining the stripped-down, high-performance OS model that Arch is known for. It is based on Arch Linux and provides several GUI applications to easily manage the system. The one thing that you would like here is the Garuda Gamer application. It's basically a GUI tool that lets you easily install gaming-related tools from one place. You can use it to install Itch, Wine, Play on Linux, Steam Proton, GOG, and many more such packages. Fedora is an impressive Linux distribution. While Fedora Linux has constantly been improving the desktop experience, it may not be an ideal desktop distribution for every user. Moreover, even if it includes open source tools and utilities out of the box, it is not geared to provide an effortless gaming experience. So, Nobra project aims to provide an unofficial spin that adds user-friendly fixes to it and makes it ideal for Linux gamers. The Nobra project is rebuilding the popular RPM-based Linux distribution Fedora with Wine, essential graphics drivers, necessary codecs, and additional software, especially for streamers and gamers. The Young project expands the distribution designed as a workstation operating system in a meaningful and far-sighted manner.
Ubuntu is one of the most popular Linux distro on the planet. 4% of all computers have Ubuntu installed, putting it up there just behind Mac OS and Chrome OS. As a result, Ubuntu is the best Linux distro for gaming, if only because it has the most titles available right out of the box. You can install Steam straight from the Ubuntu Universe repository without needing to dance around the internet. It's the same as the App Store or Windows Store. Click install and you're off to play some games. The best part about gaming on Ubuntu is the community built up around the operating system. You can get help with any question you have, and chances are you'll find answers to any problems you encounter. Manjaro is another non-Ubuntu distro, and it's based on Arch Linux. However, it turns that clunky and unintuitive distro into a beautiful and smooth OS that just happens to be great for gamers. Manjaro is reminiscent of Windows, with an application menu on the bottom left and information on the bottom right. It also has an enormous repository filled with software and games. Best of all, Steam comes pre-installed. Simply sign into your account and start downloading games. The distro also includes automatic hardware detection, which tells it what components you have and automatically installs the correct drivers. Arch Linux gets rolling updates throughout the year, and that also applies to Manjaro, so it always stays bleeding edge. Regatta OS is a Brazilian Linux distribution based on OpenSUSE, focusing on desktop and gaming needs. Its main characteristics include a Regatta OS store for installing applications and games, out-of-the-box integration with Google Drive, support for a gaming mode via the Vulkan Graphics API, an extensive library of games in the Regatta OS game access portal, support for configuration of hybrid graphics in notebooks, and easy transfer of files between a computer and a smartphone. The distribution's user interface is KDE Plasma. So that's it for this video. So which distro do you use for gaming? Please let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel and feel free to use the comment box to suggest us more topics to work on. See you next time.